commencement exercise at Hampton University is always truly a joyous occasion. I know that everyone here is excited to celebrate the achievement of our cherished graduates. However, in the rich Hampton University, today's ceremony is to be conducted with respect and dignity. In that regard, we ask that all cell phones be either turned off or put on mute. Thank you for your full cooperation. Now, let me just say that one of the things that we are not going to do is to let a little bit of rain dampen our spirits. that this outstanding class has achieved thus far. On behalf of the Board of Trustees, the administration, faculty, and graduating seniors, I welcome all of you to this 141st annual commencement at Hampton University. In honor of the graduating class of 2011, I pay tribute to your many achievements and extend to you my very best wishes as you continue your quest for personal and professional fulfillment. I also extend to each of you my most sincere congratulations. Those of you celebrating this event with us bring honor to the members of this graduating class and indeed to Hampton University. Therefore, in addition to my greeting, I extend my thanks for sharing with us this significant occasion. At this time, I take pleasure in introducing the distinguished members of the dais. Please hold your applause until all have been introduced. To my far right, Mr. Razia Dillon, Director of University Choirs, Ms. Joan Wickham, President of National Hampton Alumni Association, Ms. Mr. Kenneth Ewell, Ms. Jackie Parker, Dr. William Bill Cosby, who will be introduced fully later, Dr. Pamela Hammond, the Provost, Dr. Damian Covington, Mr. Jeffrey Eugene. Reverend Deborah Hayden. I'd also like to recognize the First Lady of this wonderful institution, Mrs. Norma Harvey. Also, if there are any Board of Trustee members who are present, please, we welcome you as well. Are there any elected officials who are in the audience? Congressman Bobby Scott, a real friend, and others. I would like to give special recognition now to the parents of the graduating seniors. <laughs> parents, you are here today to witness with pride and joy another milestone in the life of your son and daughter. Will all parents of graduating seniors please stand and seniors please recognize them. <laughs> parents, just like your sons and daughters, I want to let you know that I love you man. you pay the bills. <laughs> and Hampton, we embrace the concept of family. Therefore, at this time, seniors, I want you to recognize, and I'm going to ask to stand all grandmothers and grandfathers. Remember 
like to thank our mothers who have nurtured and guided us throughout our lives. With all mothers in the house, please stand. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day to all of you. There is another group that deserves special recognition. Well, the alumni who graduated 50 years ago, in the back, please wave your hand, please. The greatest measure of any educational institution is its faculty. Hampton's faculty is comprised, in my judgment, of the most talented, and dedicated researchers and scholars to be found at any college. Well, the fact on both sides, please just wave your hand so that you can be recognized. Unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, we lost one of our faculty members on Friday in the School of Education, uh, Dr. Linda Clay Geegan. She was an assistant professor. Why don't we just, for about five seconds, give a moment to her. Thank you. Hampton University provides its students with an education for life. The knowledge and skills gained during their tenure at Hampton has enlightened and prepared them to become creators of original ideas, champions of change, and conquerors of new territories. In liberal arts, in math, in education, in science, in politics, in health, in technology. You, the class of 2011, will be instrumental in moving this nation and this world forward. The years ahead hold many challenges for all institutions of higher education, but all indicators point to the continued prosperity of Hampton University as a major entity in this enterprise. Because of the class of 2011, our faculty, alumni, friends, and supporters who have a strong commitment to excellence, this university will continue to move forward with boldness into the 21st century and beyond. I'm going to ask Reverend O'Brien to come up and give the invocation, and then you may be seated. Let us bow. We thank you for being here with us on today, Father. We come to you this morning thanking you for life and health and strength. Thanking you for this four-year journey, and we're so glad about it. We're even glad about the weather this morning because it is a divine symbol and a living metaphor that we've weathered every other storm, and we can weather this one as well. We are reminded on this morning of Proverbs 4 and 7 that wisdom is the principal thing. That it's all right to get knowledge, it's all right to get wisdom, but whatever it costs, that we must always get understanding. And so Father, on behalf of the class of 2011, we understand this morning that if it had not been for your grace, your mercy, your favor, if you had not made a way out of no way, if you had not secured our destinies and our future, well, long prayer short, if it had not been for the Lord on our side, we would have given up when we failed our first test. We would have given up when the financial burdens got too heavy. We would have given up when the group project went belly up. But we thank you this morning because we've stood the test of time. We still believe that we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. And so on this morning, somebody's ready to turn a tassel and have a degree conferred. Be with us on this day. Guide us and protect us. In the name of Jesus we pray, amen. Please be seated. 